Hey all, and a warm welcome to the Developer Landscape Developer Tools Series. I'm Ashley Roach, and I'm a developer evangelist from the Cisco DevNet team. As you might have guessed it, I'm a big fan of developer tools. And so in this series, I'm going to cover common developer tools that you should use. Which brings me back to DevNet. We want to put the power of automation into the hands of the largest audience possible. And so we put this series together to help. While you might already know some of this stuff, there's always a chance you might learn something new. Of course, feel free to skip around. Each episode should stand on its own. The other reason for putting this series together is because sometimes at events or via Twitter, my team and I will get questions about the right tools to code in. As a caveat, the specific tools that you will tend to be using long term are a personal choice and they probably will change over time. Uh, I don't intend to start a religious war. I mean, have you ever heard proponents of Vim or Emacs debate? Yeah, that is over 200,000 views on one Stack Overflow article alone. You know, tabs versus spaces. You get the point. Okay, what is in the tool belt? The categories that I'll be covering include IDEs and code editors, what are linters, some design and prototyping tools, testing and troubleshooting tools, source control management, and a few online services. Before we dive further into the categories, why are developer tools useful? There are a few reasons. First off, it's really, really slow to develop without developer tools. You'll waste time making stupid mistakes, typos, or whatever that will slow you down and frustrate you. If you've ever tried coding in Notepad or TextEdit, you know what I mean. I know I've tried it, and it's pretty rough. Anyway, as a result, developer tools can make you and your team more productive. They can facilitate team collaboration. For instance, how Git makes it easy to merge branches from other people, or say, using OpenAPI spec to share an API design. So without further ado, let's get started with our first section, comparing IDEs and code editors. If you want to try out some of your new skills, head over to Cisco DevNet at developer.cisco.com. You can also stay in touch with me or ask questions on Twitter at A-R-O-A-C-H. Also follow DevNet on Twitter at C-I-S-C-O-D-E-V-N-E-T to keep up with our latest adventures. Thanks for watching.